just a quick demonstration to showcase some of the new 9.1 features surrounding exploring data. Here I have a data set, my sales view data set. Here's some sample data from it. It's a lot of sales information, a lot of different columns. We need to generate some insights around this data and be able to use it in a dashboard. Let's uh, go very quickly right from the Web Focus Hub. We, we can say explore data and we can navigate to our sales demonstration view that we're just looking at. Go ahead and select that. And we've got two options here in the Explore Data panel. We could either get insights, or while the insights are generating, we can ask questions of the data, such as show me company revenue by branch. And that'll generate a nice little report that we can then actually use. We have the option here to either run this in a brand new window, or we could go ahead and save this to the workspace. And you know, you could pick whatever workspace is available to you here. I've actually gone ahead and pre-gen some uh, reports and some insights here that we're going to use in a couple of minutes. Um, but just wanted to show you that. Get Insights allows you then to automatically detect patterns around the data. And here we can see that we've actually generated 23 insights on this data set that may well be of use to us. And they're broken down into various um, different types of insights. Here we're looking at single column insights uh, where we can see that public and private are the most frequent values of company type. Um, that might be a very useful insight. So we could actually go ahead and save the visualization to a workspace or run that visualization in a brand new. Let's take a look at some of the other insights that have been generated. Here's pairs of columns. So we can see average company revenue very significantly over the company revenue bucket category. And you can see here that we've got um, a nice spread of average company revenue broken down by the company size. And again, this is a nice visual that I may wish to uh, use in my dashboard. So I could go ahead and save that visualization to the workspace um, for further inclusion in a page. Um, and you can see that there are a number of um, different insights that are generated for pairs of columns. We also have time series information as well. Time series information is pretty useful. It will generate um, forecasted amount information in this particular case and, and detect any outliers that there might be um, across that data set. And here you can see we've got a lot of different uh, time series ones uh, as well. So time series for the daily average uh, company revenue that, uh, that is uh, uh, we're uh, selling to. And you can see that there are some outliers. We've got certain given days that, uh, that may be of interest for further analysis. So very interesting insights that are generated um, without having to actually create any reports from scratch. I can go ahead and close this, uh, uh, this now and let's go into my workspace and see some of the visuals that, that we've actually um, generated in, in, this, in this fashion. All of these insights that you see here have been, have been generated using the Explore Insights. So here we've got um, shown probability um, and you know sales insight and a couple of other visualizations. So let's go ahead and assemble these now into a page and we can see what we've uh, we've got. So when we assemble in a page, um, we get a choice of different template here. I'm actually just going to choose this uh, grid 421. It gives me a nice uh, starter for the layout. And I can literally just go ahead and drag all of the content right into the page. Um, I'm going to drag this one. This is another report. So I'm going to add this as a separate container within that same or separate uh, tab within that same container. Um, and then we can drag in some of the, the visualizations that we've generated. Here is 
here's our finished dashboard. Now we've got some extra containers in here. We can actually go ahead and delete these and we can just kind of move things around on the page uh, just to fill out um, the space. Just to make things nice and neat, we'll throw that up there. And we can make these a little bigger. Line them up nicely, and now let's go ahead and uh, and put a uh, nice page heading for this. And what we can do also is we can um, pick a nice theme to add to this. So I've got uh, uh, a bunch of different themes, uh, custom themes that I I can add to this. And let's go ahead and and add um, a theme here that is going to uh, change the way our containers work, give the um, page a, a, a nice uh, look and feel to it. And so within a couple of minutes, we've leveraged uh, basic insights that have been generated from that data set. And we've got ourselves a functioning dashboard that we can use um, to tell a story around our data.